right, so just a quick update with the pond. Uh, hopefully you can see it in the background there. Um, it's been uh, two or three weeks now, three weeks I think, since we treated with the Flumigard the, and treated the duckweed. Um, again, that's just trying to spot treat and not systemically uh, affect the whole pond. And we saw significant uh, effect. It was really effective to the point that when we saw it coming back, um, I waited for a windy day to blow it back into the bay. That was today until I got out there and then it was completely the Dead Sea. It was ridiculous. Um, but I had the uh, Flumigard made and I had the time and so I sprayed as best I could. Reason for the update is I saw almost no duckweed whatsoever. So what was I spraying? Now we have water meal. So the duckweed was knocked back by the herbicide and the small amounts of water meal that were there completely filled in. So everything that you see out there, it's almost 100% water meal. Um, same treatment as duckweed. Same reason as duckweed, it means that we just continue to have too much muck on the bottom, 100 plus years of fertilizer and leaves and nitrogen and phosphorus, and then you get duckweed and water meal. So sprayed what I could, even though the wind died and foiled my plan. Um, What's the difference? Uh, maybe Lee will be work her magic and show a picture of duckweed versus water meal right about now. Um, and the big difference is that duckweed is um, about two to six times larger, even though they're both really small. Duckweed has roots that hang down uh, from the uh, little petals and water meal is just basically, they look like little green seeds. Uh, floating and feel more gritty. So that's the update and we'll keep uh, updating as we explore what we're doing here.